So uh, let's let's generate some sample data. Let's use the function sine of x. So first of all, let's say call x, right? X. Okay, so what is x normally? What is it? Mm -hmm. If you want to draw it in a graph, what will be the values? Maybe from minus one to one or something? Um, well, just do it from minus five to plus five. Is there more step of one? Just minus five, minus four. Now if you select them two, you can drag them the corner. So now let's do a simple activation function, right? Let's call this the activator. So and that's just the sign of x. Um, the side gm. So let's drag it down and let's plot it. So you have to select those both of those and, and do a scatter graph. So. You do the one on the right, actually. So. That's a nice little line. Okay. It's actually like sharper, but the way you did the points right now, it's, it's just, it just it makes it look like it's not a step function, but it's really a step function. Okay. Right. So now, um, so now you can pick, you can pick, um, you can pick uh, y anywhere. Okay. Right. So you can pick, you can pick y either on this or this right side. And then you're on deck. Right? So can you pick something that this thing, this thing cannot classify correctly? So if you click, if you pick a point on the line, mm -hmm. you're good. Okay? And if you pick a point that's not on the line, you just failed. Okay? So can you Why pick is a, that? <clears throat> well, that's what the scattering thing is, right? So can you pick a point that's not on the line? Specify a zero parameter. So as long as you can pick a point that's not on the line, you, you yeah, can. Yeah, you can pick it anywhere here and anywhere. No, why can it just be minus one or one? Oh. You're classifying between two groups, right? Yeah. So, you know, why can be either in group one or group two? Yeah. One is minus one and group two is one, right? If x is two, right? And y is in the minus one group. Mm -hmm. Right, so where would that be? X is 2 here, mm -hmm. and Y is minus here. Mm -hmm. So if you pick a point like this, right, you won't be able to scatter. That point, that point would not be correctly classified, no matter what you use as the parameters. Okay? Because you don't have any parameters. If you have a point, that classifies x2 as a minus 1, you can't pick any parameters. That would that would make it classify correctly. Okay? Well, let's add a parameter. Let's call it the b. Okay, what's the value for b? Like a sample value. Okay, so is, is, is there a separate b for every x, or is there just one b? Just one b. Yeah, so put it in the b1 column. So it, you make it, make it. So it's not more complicated if you drag down in the B, in the C1. Here. Not the value of it, put it there. The label for it in C1 there. Oh. Here. In the D1. C1. In the D1. D1. Okay. And now to the activator, instead of sine of x, do sine of x plus B. Sine of x plus b. Mm 
Vamos a ver ahorita. Something wrong. This is A2, B1, B3, B2, B2, okay. Okay. Did not try to change the B. Did it move? Yeah. It moved yet, so it changed the B. Okay. Well, the, the way this works is you can pick any B. Okay. And you need to, let's say you want to classify correctly a point that says when X is 2, Y is minus 1. Uh, do you want to put a point here? And then classify. So I I give you this point, and I wanna I wanna draw a line. I wanna pick a B so that the line goes through that point. You wanna pick a B so the line goes through the point here. Yeah, is that possible? Uh, maybe. Can you try to put like minus three? Almost. Minus three, maybe. Okay. So you found the point where it goes through it. Okay. Okay, now if you can pick any point anywhere, will you be able to pick a B so that the line will go through it? What if I pick it here? Can I do that? Y can only be minus one or one, right? Because you have two groups. So the Y has to be between minus one here and not the between, top. Not between, but it has to be either one or minus one. But X can be anywhere. And the dot that I want to put can be anywhere. The dot has to be on either on this line here or on this line here. Anywhere. On those two lines. But why can't I just pick a point here? Because you got just two groups. 0 0.5 is not a group. It's classifying two things. Either oh. a thing is an apple, it's minus one, or it's an orange, it's one. Okay, so the sign function is kind of a trick to classify things into two groups. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. But you call them one is an apple and minus one is an orange, so there's no <coughs> zero. I think kind of do that. Okay, so let, let's say x is the size of the x. Let's say x is the size of the fruit, right? And then you say everything that's less than three is an apple and everything that's bigger than three is an orange. Okay. Right? So it splits it here or something. Splits it there, exactly. So now, so now, so now the thing is, if I give you an apple that weighs five, will you able, will you able to do the correct classifier for it? Can you pick a B so that, so that it classifies an apple that weighs five correctly? Yeah. Always, right? Okay, how about now if I give you two points? Okay, can you think of a two points where this thing will fail? You can draw the points here. You want to draw the points? So, right click. Do insert. And say, you know, call the points. Right, and then, let's say, let's make minus two a one. Mm, minus two a one? Yeah, put a, put a one here. Put a one here. Oh. And let's make, let's make minus one also a one. Put a one here. Okay. And now you select the, the whole C column. Not the whole, actually, it's just from the points down. No, it's from the label of points. Down all the way. Yeah, and now take it from the border, drag it to the chart. Now, what do you see? 